tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can change the colour of a symbol. Now, first thing to do is just quickly create a symbol, and I'm just going to create a symbol with a cup of pass. So, just select those, drag those into symbols, and I'm going to go for a dynamic symbol. I could go for a static symbol, that's the older type of symbol. Basically, if you're using Illustrator 10, CS1, CS2, etc., they were all static symbols. Now, it doesn't particularly matter for this. So click OK. Now, drag that to the artboard, and what you can do then, you can double click there, and it'll come up with a little panel there, dialog, and then you can just change the color there. So you can just change that, change that, change that, and then exit out of editing mode. So just go over here, you see a little arrow there. You can also right click and exit symbol editing mode. That's another option to come out of that. But you can change the color in numerous ways and then just go just there, come out, and you'll see straight away it's changed over there. Another option, and I'm just going to select that, is to go to Window and Color Guide. And then just randomize it. You can actually just click there. You can set all the colors here and just go click, click. And you can see you can run through very quickly nice range of colors. And modify over. Just okay, click OK, and again changes over there. Now, if you don't want to actually change that, and that's the whole point of the dynamic symbols, is that now you can go here with the direct selection, deselect, and then just go and select one part of that, and you can change the color. Now, just going to change it totally different from what it's obviously there. It's a purple, so to make it obvious, just to turn it into a yellow. Then basically deselect, and again you can see that hasn't changed there. It's a dynamic symbol. It can actually be changed to different colors, but it doesn't affect the earlier one. That's only for the dynamic symbols. If you're using static symbols or the earlier symbols, you can't use that feature. Right. Another option, and I'm just going to quickly just drag that over, and that's to use the over there symbol sprayer tool. Just beneath there, you can see symbol stainer tool. Just select that, and then I'm just going to go for, say, green. Just apply that. You can see, just you apply it again. There's a certain point it won't reach. It, won't, it stains it just subtly, and then you can apply it again. Just paint over it. If you don't select it, you say you don't like that, and you go to symbol stainer. Just apply it. It will come up and say, please select a symbol instance, etc. So you have to actually select it. And again, I'll show you. Just turn that into say blue over here the fill color and then just go to symbol stainer just apply it lightly you can see it just turns I just just subtle and then click it again click it again or again just go back to the original just hover over it and that's it you end up with a fairly blue image you can modify the symbol just go there you can see all the various intensity you can change pressure etc so set diameter Etc. Right, that's a whole run through of. There's probably a few more ways of doing it. I'm saying you can get plugins and tools that can do it as well. But that's the, the really the key sort of ways of changing the color that I'm certainly aware of in Illustrator. Hope you found this of interest. Please check out the Graphic Extras channel. I'm always adding lots and lots of tutorials on there every couple of days. And also the graphicextras.com website. Always got lots of new tutorials on that as well. Thanks. Bye.